What's going on guys, Bowtie Brem here once again. And today we are doing a review slash install video on some towing mirrors. Um, these actually come from the same company that sent me those running boards last video. Uh, yeah, that Yita motor. So uh, let's check them out. Let's see what I got. What did I get? We're going to find out. Alrighty guys, inside the box is... Uh nice and simple you just have your uh get it out your tow mirrors comes with the tow mirror the uh harness and uh yeah i went with these ones i decided to go with the black with the smoked out dotted turn signals so uh yeah first things first here we're gonna wrap her back up and we're gonna take this wonderful door panel off. Let's get to it. Alrighty, first things first here. Take a screwdriver in this little, oh. Take a screwdriver, pop. Oh my God, I'm gonna flip you around. Alrighty guys, so like I was saying, screwdriver in here, pop this out, comes right out, okay. Next thing you're gonna do is screwdriver in the bottom. Holy cow. Pop your trim piece off right here. Next, let's see if I can get a little better angle for you. You guys know I'm a one man army here. Door handle right here. Take this, pop this piece right in here. Pop that out, and then the door handle itself here, there was something on the bottom. Let's check here. There's a button or some sort. How did we get this out before? I don't know. We're going to figure it out, though. I know the door handle has to come out. Oh, yeah, it's a pop thing. Duh. Pop everything with the screwdriver. Set you on the running boards here. So you can see this piece right here. Going with the screwdriver. And give it a pop. Oh my god, don't kill yourself here. Pop. Oh, we're popping, but we're not locking here. In there. Pop it. Pull it. It's that little pop piece. And uh, now it's time for a 10 mil, baby. So what you're going to want to do, we'll just keep this sucker rolling here. Put you back up on the stand. Grab yourself a 10 mil extension. Have it on reverse. We're not even using impacts for this. I'm just going to keep you guys rolling the whole time here. One bolt out. Now, one thing I do, I'll do it while I'm talking is, and you need the extension for this bolt right here. Um, I always keep my bolts. Um, you never want to mix up bolts. I'm sure they're probably all the same, but um, just in case, after you get this second bolt out, second bolt out, everything comes right out. Now what I do for safekeeping, put the bolts back in there, set it on your seat, okay? Now they have you, those two bolts out, you can take a screwdriver, or if you're strong enough, pop this control panel out, let it dirty dangle there for now. Okay, your next bolt is going to be right here, right uh, where that door handle was. And now that I'm thinking about it, I've done this quite a few times on many different people's trucks. But uh, one thing I forgot is we forgot a location. So we're going to grab our handy dandy pop tool right under the door hint. This thing's dirty dangling in my way. Right here is a little piece. Pop it in. Go like that a couple times. Wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Pop your piece out. Put it to the side. Two. 
let me get in here for you. This is why you need the extension. It's funny because I already had all this stuff right in my center console. Two 10 mils in there, uh, party with them and uh, pop them out. Make sure you're not losing bolts like I kind of almost am. But I'm letting this roll the whole time just so you could see with me explaining we're only three minutes in. So, I mean, that it's got to prove that it's a relatively easy process here. Just don't let these bolts, I'm just thinking of it now, don't let these bolts fall into your door. Because that does not sound like fun. <laughs> you guys know me and my luck if you're a subscriber, follower. I don't have good luck with much of anything. Truck. I know how to do everything. It's just uh, executing the plan is the uh, hardest part here. Ta-da! Boom, bam, bada ba boom, pow. Okay, so now that you're all dirty dangling, you have some harnesses here. I wonder if I can zoom in. Nope, can't zoom in, but that's okay. I'll show you. I know, people are getting hyped about this, guys. Chill out. So right here, what you're going to do is unplug all these harnesses. Um, all there are is a pop, boom, bang. Squeeze. Let's see here. I got this one. Actually, do you even need to take this out? Actually, I'm not even going to take that out yet. I know what you have to do, though, is pop this door panel off. So we're going to go back to the down low position here. Oh, my God. I just I just knocked over the toe mirrors. What you're going to do is here, get in here with the screwdriver, start prying. You could get a pry tool, but why get buy a pry tool when you got a screwdriver? All right. So my key to this is, um, this is not really a key, but everyone gets scared about breaking stuff. Just rip it. Just start ripping. Look at that. I popped every clip out. Just start ripping it. Be a, be it, be strong. Okay. Dirty dangle this thing. See this cover right here? There's a cover. Oh, let me show you. Cover up here. Grab that with the meat, meaty paws. It should just pull right out. Oh, we've already dirty dangled this before. We've already broken a couple clips here. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to dirty dangle it. Rip and grip too much here. So pull it. Pull down. Now, now there is little uh, clips in here, right in the bottom down there, that your door will actually set in, so you can work on everything. Now, it was always alarming when you find a bolt just hanging there. You never just want to find a bolt in your door. But, I don't know. That's okay. All right. So now, I don't know where this came from. I think this probably came from, I don't know. I don't know. So when you have that happen, put it off to the side until you need it. So now you're going to have to, um, let's see here. Well, first things first, we flip it around finally. So what you're going to do is take out your puffy foam piece in here. And what do we have here? We have some more bolts. And what do we also have? We have wires. So this one seems to lead right under here. I can't unclip this with one hand, people. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not unclipping that with one hand. So you have one there, and um then you have this other wire right there this one right here. i'm not doing it let me flip you around again guys so hopefully this is a new and improved angle so we're going to take one clip unplug it take your other clip here simple unplug 
simple unplug. Now that means all of your wiring is now out. So uh, your wiring's all out. Now all you have is tic-tac-toe Illuminati triangle bolts and uh, you're partying. So uh, like I said right here, one, two, three, and a broken clip. All right, let me see real quick. Let me just tell you if those are 10 mil bolts as well. Oh, we, we can't fit the big old extension in here. Sorry about the nose shot here, guys. 10 mil bolts as well. Undo those with the 10 mil. I'll be right back. So now, what you're going to want to do after the bolts are out, hold on to the mirror, and you're just going to want to pull it out with the wiring. I can't do that with one hand. So pull it out with the wiring. That's about it. I just whacked myself in the face. But uh, yeah, now you're going to take your new tow mirror, feed the wiring through. Little roly poly holy here. Pull it all through. Take your tow mirror without dropping anything. Pull your wire through. And with speed and aggression. Oh, we're all types of dirty dang one here. Hang on. Oh, hang on. I'm on the wrong side of the window guard here. There's one. All right. Main goal here, people, is don't drop your new mirror. Okay, that is one thing you do not want to do. So slide it in. I should probably do this from the other side. That would be a lot smarter here. But I gotta get the shot for my people. And who likes seeing stuff done correctly as well? Do a little witchcraftery. Get it in. Put a bolt or two or four on it. Oh my god, I dropped the bleepity bleeping bolt. Oh. You know, it was bound to happen, people. It was bound to happen. Unfortunately, it was bound to happen. So, uh, let me find the bolt and I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, guys. So I found the bolt and luckily they come with supplied bolts. But, uh, yeah, it's all wrapped up now. And, uh, here's the unveiling. I didn't record the putting everything back together because I didn't want to bore you guys, but everything just goes in exactly how you took it out. Super simple. Just pop it all back in, a couple bolts, and you're booming and banging. Looks good. Looks good. Alrighty, guys. So the fitment is nice and good. Uh, mirrors are nice and good. Lights are nice and bright. Let me hit that again for you. Give you a backup shot of them. But yeah, these are these are great. Um, good price point, about 200 bucks I said from Yida Motor. They're nice and leveled already. And uh, yeah, some packing peanuts out of there, but yeah, 
overall, I would give these, honestly, I have no reason not to give them a perfect score. But nothing's perfect, so I'll give them a 9. But, yeah, they're great. Easy install. Um, comes with everything you need. And they look good. And they're functional. So, I mean, what more could you want? All right, let me flip it around for the outro. All righty, guys, that was the tow mirror install and review. Once again, one more flash again. If you guys like that, remember to uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll see you in a couple days with a new video. But yeah, black mirrors, baby. Black it out. All righty, guys, I will catch you in a few. Once again, those are from Yida Motors. And uh, yeah, peace out. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.